everyone. Welcome back to Poets and Quants' Must Reads, a quick digestible recap of the top business school news sponsored by Center Court, P&Q's virtual admission events. I'm your host, Christy Bleizeffer, and I'll be highlighting the most important P&Q stories you might have missed. So let's get to it. Number one, every MBA consultant said he didn't have a chance at Stanford GSB. He just graduated. It wasn't one MBA consultant that told Jason Buchel not to waste his time applying to Stanford Graduate School of Business. It wasn't even two. In all of the initial calls he had with consultants to talk about his background, Jason heard different versions of the same thing. You don't have a shot. Wait until next year. But Jason listened to his gut and charged ahead. This summer, he graduated with his MBA. You can read about his inspiring journey, as well as his advice for getting into one of the pickiest business schools in the world, now on our homepage. Number two, MBA pay by region. Here's how much you're worth. Where you live and work, geographically speaking, shapes your network and opportunities, even with access to Zoom and LinkedIn. This article examines the pay gap between six geographic regions of the United States, as well as internationally. Hint. The best paying regions are where you think they are. Find out how much in our roundup NBA pay by region. Number three, the 10 biggest surprises and insights in The Economist's 2022 NBA ranking. Last month, The Economist released its 2022 ranking of the top NBA programs with some mind boggling results. You know something's awry when Harvard Business School tops a major NBA ranking and it comes as a surprise. In a follow-up, P&Q writer Jeff Schmidt examines the 10 biggest surprises from the ranking, including why some of the elite international schools aren't listed, an impressive slide by Chicago Booth, and the biggest winners and losers over the last year's survey. You can read the full analysis now in our rankings tab. Number four, our weekly roundup of news you can use. No matter where you are in your B-School journey, we bring several helpful stories for you this week. First up, for those working furiously on your MBA essays, or those still wondering what the heck to write, be sure to check out two essential stories from p and Editor-in-Chief John Byrne. MBA essays that worked at Harvard and Stanford, and what matters and what matters more, 50 successful MBA essays. We've also updated our guide on the MBA application deadlines and offer seven ways to maximize your online MBA experience. Finally, for those trying to wade through the myriad ways to apply to business school, be sure to read through this story, what you need to know about early and deferred admissions. And that's it for this week's Must Reads Recap. I also want to alert the school seekers out there to Center Court's upcoming MBA festival events. Our next series, The MBA in Your Career, is happening October 4th through 5th, and you can register for free on our events tab. Again, I'm Christy Bleiseffer, and you can join me next week right here for a recap of what's important in the world of business education. Thanks for listening, and as always, stay informed.